Let's do some practice problems for balancing chemical equations. We'll start off with some examples that are pretty basic and straightforward, and then the problems will get more challenging as we move on. Here's our first equation. We got xenon and fluorine. We want to keep track of how many atoms of these elements we have on both sides of the equation, so we're going to make a little chart, okay? I got xenon and fluorine on this side, and then xenon and fluorine on this side. Over here, I have one xenon atom, one, and then I have F2, so I got two fluorines. Over here, also one xenon, and then F6, so I got six fluorines. Now take a look at these numbers. This equation isn't balanced yet, because we have different numbers of the atoms for one of the elements. I've got two fluorine here, but I've got six fluorine here, so it's not balanced. In order to balance it, I've got to add numbers or coefficients in front of one or more of these elements and compounds to change the number of atoms that I have on the different sides of the equation. Okay? Here's how I'm going to do it. I got six fluorine here, but I got two fluorine here. So for this to balance, I need more fluorines on the left side. I can add a number in front of the F2 here. If I put three, in front of this F2, here we'll put it in. If I put three in front of this F2, now I have three times two gives me six fluorine, and now they balance. One, one for the xenons, six, and six for the fluorine. So now this is a balanced equation by adding this number, by adding this coefficient. Now really quick, this is one very common question. People often ask, Wait, why did you put that 3 there? Couldn't you just change this 2 to a 6 and then it would also balance? No, 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 no. You can't do that. It's a super common misconception. You can't change these subscripts here. You can't change them. You can't add them. So you can't change this to a 6. You can't put a 6 here or anything like that. The only thing you can do is you can put numbers in front of the elements or compounds, okay? But you can't change or add the subscripts. Okay, so that's how you balance an equation. Let's do a whole bunch more practice. Okay, so in this equation, we've got three elements, silver, Ag, hydrogen, H, and sulfur, S. Obviously, we've got these on both sides of the equation. Okay, so let's see how many atoms we have of each. Over here we got one Ag, we got H2, so we got two hydrogen atoms, and then we have S, so we got one sulfur atom. Over here we have Ag2, so we have two silvers here. Um, uh, sulfur, we have one, and then we have H2, so we have two hydrogens. Okay, what balances and what doesn't? Well, the hydrogens and sulfur both balance, but the silver, we have two here and one here. We can fix it by adding a number or coefficient in front of one or more of these elements and compounds. I need more silvers on this side, and luckily, I can just put a two in front of this AG. So now instead of having one AG, now I have two, and now I got two, two, and one. It balances. This equation is a little bit more challenging because we have oxygen in all the compounds here. That means that we're just going to have to be a little bit more careful when we're adding up the number of oxygen atoms that we have. Okay? So, the elements in this equation. We got K, potassium, O, oxygen, H, hydrogen, and C, carbon. And over on this side, we've got potassium, oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Okay, how many of each of these do we have? Okay, we got one potassium here. Now for oxygen, this is where you just got to be a little bit more careful, okay? Because we have one oxygen here, but then we have two oxygens here. So one plus two, total we have three. Then hydrogen, we got one of those, and carbon, we got one of those. Over here for potassium, we have two of these because we got K2. Then uh, oxygen, we have three there, and we have one there, it's gonna give us four total. And then we have H2, we have two hydrogens, and one carbon. Okay, so 
what balances, what doesn't. The carbons balance, but other than that, we've got to add some coefficients to change this stuff around, okay? Oxygen doesn't balance, but since oxygen is in every one of the compounds, I'm going to leave that for later. I'm going to start with potassium because it's easier, right? I have two potassiums here, but I've only got one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a two in front of this KOH, and let's see what that does. Okay, the first thing that's gonna do is it's gonna give me two instead of one potassiums, because I have the two times K. Now for oxygens, let's look at how it's gonna change that. Now I'm gonna have two oxygens, because two times that, plus the two that I have over there in CO2. So I'm gonna have uh, two plus two is now gonna give me four. So I've got four oxygens. And in terms of hydrogen, now I'm gonna have two times one hydrogen. So I'm gonna get two hydrogens. And check it out. Putting this, putting this two here changed everything. So now I've got two, four, two, one, it all balances. Now we're gonna start doing some equations that require more than one step to balance. Okay, so this one here has sodium and chlorine. Over here we got one sodium and we have Cl2, we have two chlorine atoms. Over here we have NaCl, so we have one sodium, one Na, and one Cl. Okay, how am I gonna start? Well, I have more chlorine on this side. I have two over here and I only have one here. Okay, so I can start out by putting a two in front of NaCl, okay? That's gonna give me two Cl, but look what else it's gonna do. Okay, now I have two times Na, so I have two Na's. I also have two times Cl, okay? So I also have two Cl's. So now the Cl's balance but now I have two Na's, two sodium on this side, and I only have one on this side. So now to balance this out, I'm gonna put a two in front of this Na here, and now I have two of these. So now on both sides of the equation, I have two sodiums and two chlorines, the equation balances. Okay, iron, oxygen, and carbon. Over here, I have one iron, one oxygen, and one carbon. Here, I have one iron, two oxygens, and one carbon. Okay, how am I gonna balance this? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna balance these oxygens, okay? So I have two over here and I have one here. I'm gonna change that by putting a two in front of the FeO, okay? So that's gonna give me two oxygens, but it's also now gonna multiply this Fe by two. So now I'm gonna have two Fe. Okay, so now I've got two Fe here and one there, so now these don't balance. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a two in front of this Fe there, so now instead of having one, I have two of them. Now I have two, two, one, it balances. Okay, let's look at what we have here. We have silicon, on this side we have one of them, O2, two oxygen, and one carbon. Over here we have one silicon, Oxygen, we have one, and carbon, we have one plus one, so we have two. Okay, so what doesn't balance? Well, the carbons don't balance and the oxygens don't balance. I'm gonna leave the carbon alone for now because it's in both of these compounds. So I, I kinda don't wanna mess with it right now, but I could. I'm just gonna start out with the oxygen, okay? I have two oxygens on this side, and I have one oxygen on this side. So I'm going to multiply the CO by two, so that can give me two oxygens. But now it's also gonna do something else, right? Because we're also multiplying the C by that two. So that means now for the total carbons, I'm gonna have the one from there, plus now the two from there. And that's gonna give me a total now of three. Okay, so now I have three carbons here. I've got one carbon here, so I'm gonna put a three in front of this carbon. That's the only carbon on this side. So now I have three times one is three, one, two, and three, and they balance. This equation has five different elements in it, and it also has these parentheses. So we'll talk about these in a minute. First, the number of atoms. Iron, Fe, we have one here, Cl3, Na1, O, and H, we have one of those. Okay, now Fe, over here we have one, and then we got the parentheses. Okay, so the parentheses mean that everything inside here is multiplied by three. Okay, so we have O times three, which means we have three O's, and we have H 
times three. So that's three H's. And then we have Na and Cl, so one each of those. Okay, so where are we gonna start with this? Well, I have, uh, I have an imbalance in my oxygens here, so I, I might as well just start there, okay? So three here, one over here, so I'm gonna put a three in front of NaOH, okay? So that is going to multiply all the stuff by three. I have three Na, three O, and three H. Okay, what did that do for me? Well, that balanced the oxygens and hydrogens but now the sodium, the Na, I have three on this side and I only have one on this side. Okay, so I can fix that by multiplying this NaCl by three here. Okay, so that's gonna give me three Na and it's also gonna be three times a Cl. So now I have three Cl and check it out, that fixed it. I have three Cl over here, but I got three Cl there. Great, so one, three, 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 it balances. We got some more parentheses here. Let's take a look at this equation. Okay, I have one aluminum two hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygens. Then over here I have two aluminums. Everything in here is multiplied by three. So that means that I have three sulfurs, and I have four times three, which is 12 oxygens, and then I have two hydrogens. Okay, what am I gonna do first? Well, take a look at this. We have aluminum and we have hydrogen on their own. So I'm gonna save them for last. I don't wanna balance them right now because we can use these at the end to, to straighten out some of these details. So let's look right now at sulfur and oxygen. I can fix both the sulfur and the oxygen and balance them by multiplying these by three, right? I have three sulfurs and 12 oxygens. So if I just multiply these by three, I can get them to balance. So I've got sulfur and oxygen there. So I'm gonna start by putting a three in front of that, okay? That's then gonna give me three sulfurs and three times four, 12 oxygens. And it's also gonna give me some more hydrogens, okay? So now I got six hydrogens. Okay, so we got the sulfur and the oxygen to balance now just by multiplying by three. Now my hydrogen, my hydrogen doesn't balance. I have six on this side, two on this side. So I can fix that by multiplying the hydrogen by three. Now I have three times two on this side, which is gonna give me six. And then take a look at the aluminum. I have two on this side, one on this side, but I can fix that by multiplying by two over here. And then I get those to balance and everything's good. You may have noticed these are getting a little bit more complex. It takes more and more steps to balance them. Okay, so for this we have one nitrogen, we have three hydrogens, we have one Cu, which is copper, and we have one oxygen. Over here we have two nitrogens, uh, two hydrogens, uh, one copper, and one oxygen. Okay, where am I gonna begin with this? Well, copper and nitrogen are on their own here, so I'm gonna leave them to last. I'm gonna focus in on hydrogen and oxygen. The, the oxygens are balanced right now, but the hydrogens are not. And check out, I've got this three, two thing going on. I can solve that by doing a crisscross multiplication to get six. So the hydrogens are here. I'm gonna multiply this by two, and then I'm gonna multiply this by three, okay? What that's gonna do is it's gonna give me two times three, six hydrogens. It's also gonna give me two nitrogens. And then over here, it's gonna give me three times two hydrogens, which, which is six. And then three times one, which is three oxygens. Okay, so now I've got my hydrogens balanced. The next thing that I can do is um, leaving copper and nitrogen for later. Let's balance the oxygens. Okay, I have three on this side, I have one on this side. My oxygen is there, so I'm gonna multiply this by three. So I'm gonna do three times one, get three oxygens. But I'm also gonna get three times one for copper. Okay, so now my oxygen's balance, but my copper, my copper is still a problem here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there is I need three on this side, because I have three on that side, but luckily copper is by itself. So that's what I say, like at the very end, you can go through and, and fix this stuff. So I'll put a three there in front of copper. So three times one gives me three for copper. So this balances now. 